Hello, everyone. Welcome to Idiom 100, where we learn 100 commonly used idioms by native English speakers. All of the explanations are in English, but don't worry. Hang in there, study hard, listen carefully, and soon you'll be using these idioms in your daily conversations. Is everyone ready? Let's begin! Hello everyone, nice to see you again. Today's idiom is Get something off my chest. Get something off my chest. All right, so let's imagine a picture to help us understand this idiom. So you are laying down and you have a five kilogram weight on your chest, right? And it's sitting on your chest and it's very heavy and uncomfortable and really bothering you, yeah? And oh, you really don't like it and you want to get it off your chest. And then you feel much better, right? So when the five kilogram is on your chest, oh, it's so heavy, I feel bad. And it, get it off your chest, ah, I feel relief, I feel much better. All right, so let's imagine this as we listen to some examples. Sorry, there is something I really need to get off my chest. What is it? Can you give me back my dictionary I lent you two years ago? All right, so in this case, he wanted to tell his friend he wants his dictionary back, but kind of was an awkward and difficult thing to say, but he really wanted to say it. And then he said it and he feels much better. Yeah, he got it off his chest. All right, so let's listen to the second example. There is something I've been meaning to get off my chest. My name is Patty, not Patsy. Oh, sorry, I must have heard wrong the first time. All right, so in this case, he re she really wanted to say her name is Patty, not Patsy, yeah? So something was bothering her. They were calling her the wrong name. So she told them, my name is Patty, and she got it off her chest, and she feels much better. All right, so to get something off your chest means to say something that's been bothering you. All right, so to get it off your chest, you're going to say it and then feel much better, right? So next time that you want to tell someone something maybe it's a little difficult to say but you need to say it so if you just say it directly maybe it's too aggressive or too forward but if you start with i need to get something off my chest then it kind of prepares the person for maybe uh something they don't want to hear okay and then it's not so direct all right or if you're holding a secret or something you really need to tell, yeah, you can say, get off my chest, yeah? So next time you really need to say something, maybe it's not a good thing, you can tell the person, I need to get this off my chest. Can I tell you something? All right, and I'll see you next time.